and we're live. I don't, I, yeah, don't, that, don't tremble. Don't tremble to speak to me. Like, like, like we could bullshit here. Like, like, we have very nice our responsibility to make them feel okay about this, right? Like, like, ooh, yeah. how do I help this person? Yeah, it I try be our responsibility. I, I've done my work. best to like never have like a bad. I don't want anyone to ever walk away and be like, "Well, that guy was an asshole." So I've I've always tried to like make the best impression on those people as possible and like show them that like, look, look, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to meet you. I'm I appreciate you coming here. You know, like mm -hmm. like that. That's always like my genuine sort of feelings about the matter. We were we were at like a, I don't know where we were at that like tilted kilt restaurant mm -hmm. outside yeah. of chicago and they I were remember, having I was sitting next to you and then you went to the bathroom for like 30 minutes and i was like i was God vomiting damn. yes i was vomiting uh <laughs> i think the, people I think were that's buying where we were. vodkas i think well they had fps russia night at the fucking bar so half the tvs are playing sports and the other half are playing my videos and everybody's just buying me alcohol you, you know what's funny about that is like as you like went away like i was like man i'm like really good and good facetime with kyle i think he likes me and then like you went to the bathroom and like you stayed away for so long that i was like damn i must have really fucked kyle must have been <laughs> it was about like, I, you, thought yes. I, I thought i was being funny and having good comments and things and he just leaves. i was in the bathroom he must, he must be talking to someone else some i was shit. in the bathroom i vomited and then i like flipped the seat down and sat there and just looked at my hands and, and i still remember this vividly saying to myself well You've ruined another night for yourself. <laughs> it's literally FPS rush night in a titty bar. There's 30 hot women out there. You've got so much to talk about. You're on half the fucking TVs and you're so drunk. You can't fucking stand. You've ruined <laughs> another night with fucking alcohol. Nice fucking job. Like I'm in there like, like talking down to myself for like accepting Damn. all this free alcohol. <laughs> and I remember, like, I remember when you came out and like maybe a bit after that you hung out and you were cordial and then you're like, all right, I'm heading out. And then like, obviously everybody who was there with you was like, all right, we're heading out. And I remember leaving thinking like, there's so much more fun to be had. You know, everybody's blowing him here. It's great. Like, well, why are we leaving? I, I didn't know you were that fucked up. I had had all the fun there was to have, to have. <laughs> I was vomiting on the side of the car on the way back. Yes. Oof. I did not know that. That's and then uh, I don't know if it was that trip or a different trip, but Jeremy was there and uh, the owner of the bar, whatever, was a fan. And uh, and, and he, he wanted me to sign his AR-15 and he like had it in the back of the restaurant. We went back there and I signed it and everything. And then we like stepped out the back door in the alley and uh, we're, all, we're, both, we're all smoking cigarettes. And uh, he's like, um, he's like, hey, you, you want some free beer? You know, because he's got, you know, he's a bar owner. So he's mm -hmm. just got infinite beer. He's, he's got like, case, you want a case of beer? And I'm just like, <laughs> beer. no, no, I don't want to. And Jeremy goes, I'll take it. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine? Like, right. Like, if, if, Jeremy, just, like, yeah, that, that offer just, wasn't for you. He's not just giving beer away left <laughs> willy nilly. He's right? giving me beer. Like, like he doesn't want In fairness to Jeremy or John, whoever that was. You should have just taken the beer. I get be like, I, hey, thank you so much for the offer. I appreciate it. Accept it graciously, you know. So, so that I can give it to Jeremy. I'm already paying for Jeremy's drinks. Jeremy would come on those trips broke. That's like, my like, favorite part about Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, would, we would go on a trip that was literally that that thing I described earlier, where we drive to Phoenix, Arizona, and back. Like, I don't remember how many days that is. Like, like if you did a straight shot, it's like three days back and forth. But we're not doing a, th a straight shot. We're stopping in New Orleans and partying for a night, and Houston and partying for a night. And then we're working along the way. You know, we're working a few days in Texas, working a few days in New Mexico, days of shooting. And uh, he brought no money, like none, like like twelve dollars, like, like the amount of money that a child gets out their Velcro wallet. And <laughs> And like this is their life savings in there. They've got like a ten that they got for their birthday, and they got two ones they got for cutting the grass. Two weeks last of week. allowance. Yeah, he brought two weeks of a child's allowance with him on this like what an day asshole. journey. And it's like, and this is a guy who has a cigarette and Red Bull addiction. So I'm always just fucking like, like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, go get your pack of smoke. Go get your pack of Red Bull because I'm not really. I'm paying him like shit tier money. Yeah, that's and a very expensive thing to be addicted to. Red Bull's expensive as shit. And cigarettes are expensive as shit. Yeah. yeah. And he's but, probably he's probably not drinking two Red Bulls a day. He's probably he's drink, drinking ten. He drinks right? continuously. That's part of why his teeth are all rotted out of his head. But um, but like, you know, you gotta consider like 
the hat i consider that hazard pay i felt like i was getting a great deal it was a good mm-hmm. it was it was a symbiotic relationship because like we get to new mexico and somebody's got a hole and exploding target in their hands while i shoot it out of their hands and all right i guess all right could we could we not put the full pound of explosives in there and i'm like yeah, we'll do three quarters of a pound. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, I got you a 16 ounce Red Bull, one of the big ones. When you oh, oh well, that's fucking a good deal. They just got some yeah. old. Shot that shit out of his hands. 